Alright guys, today I'm going to do a quick little video here. This is going to be on how to um, install applications on your Fire TV. Alright, so my Fire TV is actually in my other room, but all you need to do is, if your Fire TV is set up any, by any way, you, you're, on, you're on the network, right? Your computer's on the network, your Fire TV is on your, your network at your house. So if they're on the same network, you should be golden to do this. And I'll show you how to install some applications on your Fire TV. So it's pretty cool if they're not in the Amazon Fire TV market, basically we'll force install them by doing this. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to get into your ADB folder with ADB EXE um, in it. Um, this is mine right here, but however you have your setup, I'll give you a link to another zip you can uh, extract and have an ADB file or folder set up for yourself. Pretty simple. Um, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go to like networks. And you're gonna find your see it says Thomas Fire TV. So this is just the easiest way to find out the IP address of your Fire TV. So I just go right click and hit properties, copy my IP address, hit OK, and then I'll go back to go back to my ADB folder, and we're gonna open up a command window here. So hold shift on your keyboard, right click open command window here and you're gonna have this so all we're gonna type in um, is ADB connect space IP address paste alright and what's gonna happen is it's going to connect to that device and then you can type in ADB devices and you will have um, connected it'll show you the device and you're communicating now with that IP address and the device so it comes back with a number and says device that means you're connected correctly and now you're communicating with your fire TV over ADB now obviously I kinda skipped a step here you have to turn on um, USB debugging in the settings of your fire TV and I will show you guys that here all right, so to turn on USB debugging, all you gotta do is go into settings, scroll over to system, scroll down, developer options, and ADB debugging, make sure it is turned on. And you can even read what it says right there. It says, um, turn on to enable ADB connections over the network. And that's why we're typing in that IP address and going ADB connect to the IP address so that we're connecting through ADB debugging to this device specifically so um, there you go that's how to turn it on pretty simple not hard to do at all so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push a file with over on ADB and install it on the Fire TV it's very simple and actually this process even works on anything over ADB any device you're doing it whether you're doing it through an IP or you're doing it through just USB local um, anyway it'll function exactly the same so what we're gonna type in is ADB install space and then you want to put in like an APK so I'm gonna find my APK really quick here here's some APKs I have so I'm gonna I'm gonna install ES file browser and I'm going to actually I can do it this way this is an easy way to get it once you find the file you want to flash um, instead of typing it in or moving it or all that kind of stuff you can just well if I can do it here there it goes just drag it right in everything goes in correctly and hit enter and here you go you can see it's sending it to data local temp and then it's installed okay so <laughs> this actually has failed because I already have it installed so um, I'll, ins I'll shoot over a different one instead just to give you guys an idea how this functions um, let me go ahead and send over shoot let's send over phone info APK so we'll, we'll do the same thing again so ADB install and then we'll do this phone APK and hit enter phone info APK I should say so there you go you can see it sent it to data local temp and it successfully installed the application so it is installed on the device right now um, very cool that's it 
Um, if you go on the device, which I'll show you guys here in a second, over on the Kindle Fire, or the Fire TV, I should say, um, I'll show you how these are installed. They're not going to be in your, like, app drawer, as it were, but um, they are going to be accessible through the settings menu and going into App Manager, and, and, you, and you'll see that. Um, the other thing I did install, just for fun, is I installed Nova Launcher, and it does work, kind of, with the remote. It's a little bit fickle, but... Uh, I'll show you that too when we go over to the Fire TV. But that's it. If you want to install an application, force install an application over ADB, this is how you do it. And like I said, to the Kindle Fire, there's a whole list of uh, cool applications that work on the Fire TV by doing this method. Um, so let's go ahead and go over, and I'll give you a link to that, obviously, in the video description, so you'll see some XDA thread links. And then let's go over and check out the Fire TV. All right, guys, so I was going to tell you about... Um this right over here, like I said, how to check out these applications that I just forced over through my network um, with ADB install. So to get to them, like here's here's your normal apps right here, see? So this is your app library. This is what I have installed right now. You don't see any of those apps I pushed over, right? Because they're not there. So that being said, we need to know how to get to them. So it's a little tricky. It's just because of the way we have to do this. We have to go into applications and then you can scroll down and you can see right here we have ES File Explorer and then you hit launch application and shabam you have ES File Explorer I am doing this all with the remote right here so pretty cool um, not, not too bad of a little setup here you can go through your files and and you know mess around with that as well um, so that being said I'm gonna go back home really quick and I want to show you guys I also installed um, Chrome so if we go down to settings, applications, and you actually probably saw it, there's Chrome. So now I can get Chrome browser on here. And it's a little tricky to get past this um, initial screen in Chrome. So um, what you actually best to do is to plug in a keyboard. Now I'll show you my USB keyboard here. So it's hard, it's, it's going to be hard to see this with the back lighting, but um, there, there you go, you can see a little bit. So this is wireless, and it even has a mouse pad on the side over here by my thumb, which is really cool. So if you have one with the mouse pad like this, you actually get, you can see it now, you see the little cursor. So, and you can actually click with the mouse pad to select, and you can actually type, so, rootjunkie.com, which is pretty, pretty sweet, and then hit next, and it should open up my website. There you go. So um, wireless keyboard, it's pretty sweet. Just plug it into the uh, USB on the back of the Fire TV and uh, you can go ahead and do this. Um, so that's just pretty cool. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but these uh, are actually links up here. You can actually click on them and they bring you to nice little Wikipedia sites about Android routing. So uh, pretty cool, probably didn't know that. But uh, anyway, um, so that's basically how you do it. Um, this keyboard even has a home button and look at this it even it even brings you back to the home which is just wicked cool um, and you can actually navigate with the arrow buttons and everything so we're gonna go ahead and select a uh, another one really quick just to show you so if you come in here you can come into let's see I'll show you there's that phone info one that's that application and then uh, it looks like I actually didn't have, I thought I had Nova still on here. I guess I must have removed it. But Nova will function as well. It'll give you a whole new interface, but it's a little chintzy on how to work it. I don't even know if this will work either. It's just kind of curious. Let's see what it does. Yeah, this one doesn't function on here because it's not a phone. But that is how you install them. There is obviously Chrome and ES File Browser fully functioning on here for the most part. Um, so very, very cool. I'm pretty excited about that. I like the way that you can install them. Um, and that's basically how you launch them. At some point, maybe I'll come up with a way and figure out how to actually get these things to um, be in your app drawer. Probably I will be able to figure that out if we get root access on this device ever. And hopefully if we do, I'll definitely be doing a video on that as well. Um, but pretty cool. That's basically how you want to do it. Like I said, links in the video description to XDA give you a list of a bunch of applications that do function on here, even though they're not specifically designed for the Fire TV, but they do work because it is Android. Um, hope you guys like this video on installing applications over ADB, over your network even, um, on the Fire TV. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out.